How are we all doing? I hope you're keeping well out there. So tonight I thought we'd have a look at something a little bit interesting, television related. And it's this little device here, a multi-gen pattern generator. And these were advertised in the television magazine, late 90s, early 90s. And John had bought this one and uh, he put it together himself. It came as a kit. And um, he put it together a little box and all. And I thought I'd see if it still works. So we'll open it up, we'll have a quick look at it, and then we'll uh, hook up a bit of power to it and see what it does. All oh, being well, it will uh, still be working. Should be. Now it's a long time since this was used. We bought this primarily because um, we used to get the odd computer monitor into service, and he'd no uh, signal source for them. And these have a VGA output. Um, they do VGA, uh, normal comes of video and S video. So it also has an audio output as well. So he was using it just for the VGA. And there should be, you charge it up at 9 volts, or you can run it off 9 volts, and there should be two rechargeable AA batteries in here. But, um, he obviously took them out and there was a bit of corrosion as we can see uh, he did a nice job putting them together uh, to be fair to him um, zoom in a little bit there let's have a look so this is the front you're on and off you uh, enter see pal vga molds and this just a little toggle switch for the patterns. I'll look inside. So there. Um, there's a little relay in it as well. Hmm. So that's it. It's a simple little device. It's nothing special. One thing I don't like about it was just looking at it. Um, center pin negative. Why? Why or oh why? I've dug out a couple of uh, batteries to put into it as well. But I will work without them. So I have the bench power supply here. Or one of them anyway. Um I've got the little this little do for here. Let's set them for around uh, that's close enough. You know, put the wires in backwards, opposite because center pin is negative. I wonder how many people, including myself I know, but how many people have gotten caught out with these bloody connectors over the years. Especially when it comes to the Roberts radios. All for the want of a diode. I mean, this actually has a diode in line, so. I was he thought about it with this, but um, the Roberts radios are a bit scandalous. So we're on. We have lift off. So at the minute, I have my little, very handy Panasonic television switched on up here, and unfortunately, it's a. Uh, Uh, it's the camera just isn't capturing it. It's probably sometimes the light affects the frame rate. See? Yeah, it's not too bad. It strobes with the LED light. Anyway. And we have the pattern generator plugged in at the minute. And we have colour bars and what have you. Just to prove the telly is working. So we'll disconnect the video out of that. And we plug it into the... Uh, Multi-gen. See, does it uh, get any action out of it? Hmm. We're on. Hi. Oh. So what have we got? There's only a couple of patterns on it. Well, it's a nice cross hatch. Now the colour bars look the wrong way around. Grey scale. Red, green, blue. 
fight. The color bars look alright there. I wonder why it's doing that. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Because we have red, green and blue. Anyway, it's working. So I'll give it a tidy up and we'll bang the batteries into it. And um, I'll clean off the crud. Off the battery connector. And um, it might be a useful little pattern generator to have about the place. So that's the multi-gen. As advertised on practical television, or should I say television. Um, I wonder how many of them are still kicking around. Alright, I'll leave it at that. Just a quick one. Take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Good luck for now. Bye-bye.